Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your daily vibes for, what is it, 3rd? Yeah, it's Tuesday, July 3rd. I still haven't changed my calendar, so. This is a daily energy I'm picking up on today, okay? You guys, you need to remember to look beyond the uh, surface, okay? A lot of people think that a message is, is about one thing, but you really need to look beyond, okay? Um, for example, yesterday's message was about the light, diving into the light. That doesn't have to be an individual thing, okay? Like it, it, like a person, you know, like it's not just your, your partner, okay? This could be uh, universally. Okay, so that's just an example. I want you guys to look beyond the surface of the reading. Okay, go deep. Go deep with it. Um, let's see what comes up for today. you'd like to book a reading the information is listed below I have Instago as well I, I don't do privates I need to have a, I need to have a name and a face so that I can connect with you uh, I just flipped these over so there must be a reason for that um, Woo! okay so we have a we definitely have something going on today so there is some sort of ending that is happening and it is a blessing in disguise okay it could hurt it could hurt or you know it could make you feel really uncomfortable could make you or bring a little bit of chaos into your life could even make you feel angry with that emperor reversed but this ending is needed because it's held you back it's held you back from moving forward it caused a lot of indecision in your life um Jeez, some crow. There's, yeah, this needs to happen. The universe is, is is helping you, believe it or not. You may not see this as help, but it is. So I do see a release. And it's funny, I was going to say release before I pulled out any cards. I should have. Um, going back. Going back to your innocence. Um, wow. Helping you to let go of something that doesn't serve you so that you can get back your happiness, bring back the peace and harmony to your life. So there is some sort of faded event or happening that is allowing you to release whether you like it or not, okay? Um, hmm. I just wanna get the rest of the cards before I keep talking, really. Somebody has received a reality check. The truth has been revealed. Even through silence, the truth has been revealed. I see, I see. I see what this is and I got it and even though it may have hurt it's what needed to happen so that I could close this chapter because that death card is a closure okay it is it's an ending that allows a, a new beginning okay so I think that somebody has received some closure or they're about to receive some closure in a situation so that they can truly move on they've been naive to the truth, naive to, somebody has been naive to the truth. And now they realize that they can no longer invest in that. There's no commitment there. There's no togetherness. There's no teamwork. Somebody is, is not communicating. There's, there's no faith left. They don't have any faith left in this, whatever it is. Um, there's been a fear of change for quite some time. There has. Somebody has been resistant um, to change, to let something go. And here we have this tower card, which is the universe coming in to, to break this down for you. Break it out because it needs to be gone. It needs to go. It needs to go. And this could be something from your past. It could be that you've been holding on to. And it's time to bring back your happiness. It's time to remember when things were good in your life. And, and forget about this. Forget about what what it is that made you feel unbalanced and disorganized and perhaps even angry it's it's time to release it it needs to be released so i feel like 
some closure is going to come about because it's what you need to move on, okay? Somebody um, that is watching this has been waiting for quite some time for something to happen, and, it, and it, it hasn't. It's like it was wasted effort. It's wasted time. I've wasted my time for way too long. Could have even been two years. Could have been two months. Could have been seven years, okay? I just, I'm looking at here when I'm saying wasted time. Somebody has wasted quite a bit of time, and now it's it's time for a new beginning. It is the very first card. But endings bring new beginnings. We all know that. And I feel as though there's a transformation on the horizon because the closure is coming, okay? The closure that you need, whatever needs to break down and fall apart is falling apart, okay? It absolutely is. So um, you've been he being held back, being ba held back by something that was unrealistic. And now, you know, you can only hold on to something that is unrealistic for so long before reality sets in. Reality check, okay? So I feel like there has been a reality check and somebody is no longer going to compromise their happiness for a situation where there's no commitment, okay? I feel as though... <sighs> there's been a lack of, of listening, a lack of listening to what you knew. I mean, I think that you knew that this was, was a false, whatever it was, connection or a false foundation or a, uh, something that wasn't stable. You knew it, because, but, they, but the hair font is reversed. This is your inner guide, but not listening to what you knew. Therefore, you know, that's when the universe will come out and say, you know what, you, you, this is the truth. It is the truth. It wasn't built strong. It wasn't meant to last. And it is time for you to stop giving to it. You're going to stop giving to it because I'm going to help you stop giving to it. I'm going to bring you the closure that you need. So I feel as though somebody has been taken advantage of or being naive, acting res recklessly. Um, and now it's time to let go. It's t it is. It's time to release. It's time to transition out of that stage of your life. And, and that can be a little uncomfortable. So I do believe there is an uncomfortable happening that is bringing you peace and harmony in your life. It's going to allow you to feel happy again. Okay? It is. So I'm going to get some more cards. Saying goodbye. I mean, you look at that death card. What's death? Saying goodbye. Somebody is saying goodbye to the past. They're mirroring each other. They're, they're saying goodbye to the memories, the, the bad memories, because this would be bad memories or whatever. They're saying goodbye even to the good memories. They're saying goodbye to the memories. And, well, it's not like they're ever going to dissolve, but I'm not going to hold on to them anymore. I'm not going to let it hold me back. So that they can have this new beginning and bring back the structure that's been lost. Somebody has lost their focus and concentration in, re in regards to a new path. They've lost their focus hanging on to something that was dead. Okay? And now it's reality has struck. I've wasted my time. Perhaps for two years, seven years, seven months, two months, whatever. I've wasted my time. And I can no longer ignore the truth, ignore that this was, wasn't strong, it wasn't stable, it wasn't legit. The truth has been revealed. The truth has been revealed and somebody is being cut out. Somebody is absolutely being cut out completely. They were a liar, a sneak. dishonest, shady, and you may feel like you've been robbed by this person. But the tower is here to bring back abundance to your life and prosperity. There's an opportunity for a new beginning that will make you feel more abundant and stable and secure than you ever thought possible.
this is a lack of, of, of recognition, a lack of nobility. Somebody hasn't been noble. Somebody hasn't recognized. Somebody isn't feeling confident. It can mean so many things. There's no victory in success. Holding on to something. There's no victory in success. Holding on to something that isn't legit. Where there is no teamwork. There's, there's no victory in success. If you're dealing, and that's what comes about. Somebody comes to the realization, which is the truth here. Somebody comes to the realization that they were involved in a situation where there was, there was no appreciation. There was no appreciation at all. So, yeah, there was somebody that was dealing with somebody that didn't have integrity. There was somebody that... doesn't have moral backbone or doesn't have the ability to even apologize you know there's no apologies coming from this arena there's no stability there's no stability there I mean with the hair of font with this right here there's no commitment you were dealing with somebody who wasn't committed they had a wandering eye they didn't want to they didn't they weren't noble they weren't noble you were dealing with a situation that wasn't just it just wasn't and therefore it is time to accept the truth and cut this situation out of your life and maybe you've been reluctant to do that and that's why this tower is here that's this is why this is happening because somebody has been too <sighs> invested in something that was a lie invested in something that was a lie it wasn't it wasn't there was there was no togetherness in this situation and now it's time for you to be strong and be assertive and see it as it is and and stand your ground Take care of yourself. Put yourself first. So that you can bring back the prosperity and the abundance and the security and the stability to your life that whoever this situation is about took away from you. Strength. She's so strong. She is. So I feel like that somebody is refinding their power to do what's right for them. After dealing with a shady situa situation in which I have been robbed. I've been robbed. This queen is very intense. So there could be some intense energies around today, tomorrow, yesterday, whatever. As something is being released. It is being released for your, for your highest good. Even though you may not want it to be, something is. With that tower and that death card, something is being released, whether you like it or not, because you're, you're being called to find happiness again. Remember that happiness. Remember that happiness once upon a time before you had all this hurt. That's what this card is saying. Go back to the happiness. Go back to when things were good. When when you believed in love. I mean, when you were a child, you believed in love. Go back to that. So this event that is happening, or this moment, is happening to bring you back to love. So I feel like today is a day of, of a swift change something happening something being released that no longer serves you whether it's happened yesterday last week next week whatever this is what I'm picking up on today somebody something is happening that is allowing somebody to cut a deceptive situation out of their lives okay because we have a sword here we have these are okay we have the ace of swords the seven of swords reversed and the queen of swords this is cutting a deceptive situation out of your life
I'm not confused anymore. I'm not. Thank you. Thank you. This is what I needed. I needed this to move on. So yeah, I feel like there is something happening that is allowing someone to find a new stability, a new security and abundance that has been lost by deception. Somebody was being naive, holding on, being naive, holding on to something that was dead. I mean, that's what it is. And now they may have gotten angry and upset as they accept the truth. Then they come to this realization that, you know, I can't deceive myself anymore. I have to cut this out because I want stability. I want happiness. I want something solid. So I feel like today's energy is about being assertive. I mean, that last card I pulled, that Queen of Swords, that is being assertive. Dealing with these intense feelings, um, seeing it as it is, you know, really seeing it as it is, being open to the truth of the situation and cutting out this bullshit, okay, because this is absolute bullshit. Dealing with a sneaky, sly situation or individual that has completely robbed you of happiness, robbed you of happiness, cut it, cut it right out. Support. People come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on. While others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your entire life. There's a situation here that was only meant to be in your life for a season. And I'm sorry that some people don't want to hear this. And it needs to go because it's, it's not... There's, dis, there's a lot of dishonesty. There's lies. And the universe, which is the tower, the tower is a universe card, is here to remove this situation that is not meant for you, to bring you back to happiness. I have to show you what's on the bottom. Trust. Trust. While your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. Your logical mind, this is a mind versus heart situation. Okay, your logical mind is saying one thing and your inner guidance is saying another. Follow your inner guide. You know what this is. But you're, you're, for some of you, you're staying in the spot to protect yourself. Trust. Trust in the divine plan. If something didn't work out, it didn't work out for a reason. So anyway, that is what I have for today. Um, somebody is breaking away from a situation that robbed them. And it is an absolute blessing. Count it as a blessing, please. That's what I'm doing. Talk to you later.